time for the Romba Room School. I'm Miss Helena. We hope that you're feeling well and we hope that you're happy today. Can we see that nice big smile? Can we? Thank you. Some smiles here too for everybody. You know that Mummy's watching you, don't you? Show Mummy your nicest smile. <laughs> and a big one for Mr Doobie too. We're going to have fun today. We're going to make something. And we're also going to put our bean bags on. We're going to have show and tell. We have that every day, don't we? And I think that Mr Doobie's going to come and say hello. Would you like that? There are lots and lots of pictures over there. Look at those great big ones poking out of the mailbox there. I wonder who they're from. Are they from you, perhaps? Hmm? Maybe they're from you at home. If you've sent me a letter, you'll be listening to see if one of yours is the one that I read out today. Would you like to meet everybody now? We're waiting, aren't we, to tell everybody our name. This is Leanne's and um, Christy sitting next to me. And you've got some news to tell. Where did Mummy go for a holiday? To the snow. To the snow, and she brought you something back, didn't she? What was yeah. it? A bangle, aren't you a lucky girl? Who did you stay with when Mummy had a holiday? The next door neighbour. So you had a holiday too, didn't you? How yeah. lovely. Yeah. Did Mummy come back with a nice brown face? Did she? No. No? Because sometimes when you're down at the snow, you get a tan on your face, I don't know. you? Yeah. Does she like it? Is she a good yeah. skier? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? And they brought me some snow back. What's it? Do you mean some snow in a bag? Didn't it melt? No? What happened to it? We put it in the fridge. Did you? Really? Yeah. Did Mummy have a special esky or something to bring it back for you? Yeah. See? Well, aren't you lucky? So now you know what snow looks like. Mm, indeed. What a lucky girl. Yes. Um, when we put quite on all, we can eat it. <laughs> what does it taste like? Sort of like an Lollipop. icy. Does it? Like an icy. Hmm? I'll have to taste a bit and try it. <laughs> Let's meet Leanne now. Have you got something to tell us? What is it? Of our house. Did you really? One that got away, maybe. Yeah. Is it in a cage now? You're yes. looking after it. What's it look like? It's got green on the bottom. Mm hmm. You going to give it a name? Yes. Yes. Oh, well, that's good. I hope it's not sick or anything, is it? No. no? Well, you're very lucky, and I think the budgie was lucky too have someone find it to take care of it. Mm. They do get away sometimes. It's easy enough to leave that door open, isn't it? And they fly out. Yeah, you know? they fly. We let it open like last yesterday morning. And so flew all over it scared my sister. <laughs> did it? You look after it for me, she won't like you? like it. She went and put a hat on. Oh, did she? She thought it might peck her hair or something. <laughs> yeah. She just a head. How old is she? Free. She's only little. She's a bit scared of the budgie, was she? <laughs> <laughs> now, let's say hello to Alan. He's here today to say hello to everybody at home. Got some news? Yep. What is it? I went to Mel Melbourne on a car and then I went... Um, and I went to Brisbane by plane. Well, aren't you lucky? Which did you like, Melbourne or Brisbane? <laughs> Melbourne. <laughs> Tell us what you did in Melbourne that was good fun. There was parks. Mm -hmm. and we the last time that we stayed in the, la um, the last hotel, yes. we were in the big one. Did you really? That must have been nice. Did you go on the trams too, Alan? Yep. Yeah, they're fun, aren't they? Because mm -hmm. we don't have trams here in Sydney, do we? Mm -hmm. No, I like riding on the trams too. Lucky boy. Two holidays down to Melbourne and up to Brisbane. Mm -hmm. Aren't you lucky? <coughs> what about you, Michelle? We went down to the Lane Cove River Park. And what did you do down there? Did you have a nice picnic or a barbecue? Yes, we had a picnic. Did you go on the paddle steamer when you were down there? Yes, yes good, isn't it? Yeah, as long as it's not raining. Did you see lots and lots of ducks too? Did you give them some of your bread? Mm -hmm. It's good to feed them. And sitting down the bottom here, Nicholas, have you got some news for everybody? Yes. Huh? Oh, what a nice smile it is too. What's your news? We're going to trampoline. Are you good at that? Yeah. I get a bit frightened on those trampolines. I think I'm going to fall off. What about you? Hmm? No. It's pretty important to stay in the middle of the trampoline, isn't it? So you've got lots and lots of space. Tell me some of the things that you can do on it. Jump. Mm -hmm. You can jump with your feet. What about landing on your knees? Can you do that? Yeah. And can you sit down too? Yeah. Land on your bottom? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And keep going? Good. And I think as you get a little bit older, you'll be able to do uh, more tricks too. Yeah. Yeah, but you've got to be careful, haven't you? And Brendan, tell us about those tadpoles. Have you got any in that pocket there? Look at the big frog on Stand up and show them the frog on your 
on you. Oh, look at him. I thought perhaps you might have had some tadpoles hidden in there. Who got the tadpoles for you? Um, I forget. Was it your auntie? Hmm? Yeah. Where did she find them? I don't know. Hmm? How big are they now? One, one tiny big. Did you bring one in so that I can see it? Did you? No? Yeah. Mm. Let me. Mum's got them. Mum's got them. You're going to show me later. Oh, that's good. Have they grown any legs yet? No, not yet. Hmm? I can't wait to have a look. Who likes tadpoles? It's fun if you find them in a little creek or a river. You can put them in the jar and watch them grow into fat frogs, can't you? Yes. yes. I've got school. some ones too. Hmm? Anybody got any silkworms yet? Shouldn't be too long before we see the silkworms out. You know they like mulberry leaves, don't you? Yes. Yes, can't wait for you to bring some of those in to show me. But how about now we get our bean bags and we might go for a little walk across there on the bean. Do you think we can? Yeah. Yes. Got to walk in a straight line. And uh, the first time, we'll just put it on our head and we'll walk straight across. The next time, we might go backwards. Do you think you can walk backwards yes. with the beanbag on? Let's try it. Come on. You probably have to go a little bit slower when you're walking backwards. Keep your head up. Nicholas, see if that'll stay on. Where are you, Brendan? OK. Now ask Mr Music to play for us. You know what to say, don't you? Ready, please, Mr Music. You come down and join on the end of the line. That's the way. Hands beside you. See me walk so straight and tall. I won't let my basket fall. Eyes ahead and don't look down. Keep that That's basket on. Doesn't matter how slowly you go. Watch me. Good boy, Nicholas. My head up high. Round you go. Like Hop on the beam again. Go across it front ways first, back, and then we'll go backwards. And strong, you see, helps to make a healthy me. And up off you go. This way. That was better than the first turn. Good. Backwards for us, Nicholas. Come on, hop on. Take it slowly. Turn around this way. And just go back slowly. That's it. Good. See, it's not so hard, is it? Now you try, Michelle. Put your bean bag on, Brenda. That's it. Keep going. Good boy. Not so bad, is it? Oops, it's getting a bit wobbly now. Just slide your feet along. That's it. Now you try. Up you get. Good girl, Leanne. <laughs> Not too fast. Eyes ahead and it. don't look down. Keep that basket on That's the, the way. ground. Watch me hold my head up high like a soldier marching by. A, a back that's straight and strong, you see, helps to make a healthy. Right. 
sideways. That's it. Try to put those hands down. <laughs> Lift your head up just a little higher, Brendan. Chin up. Feels funny. See me walk so straight and tall. I won't let my basket fall. Eyes are hidden and don't look down. Keep that basket off the ground. Watch me hold my head up high. Like a soldier marching by. A back that's straight and strong, you see. Helps to make a healthy me. Now, that wasn't too bad, was it? I think you did very well. The first turn we were a bit wobbly, but after a while, after you've done some practice, I think that you kept those on extremely well. Put them over here. I think Mr. Doobie should be here shortly, so let's sit in the chairs here and I'll open those doors. Can you see the doors moving at all? Yeah? Oh, you are there, Mr. Doobie. I thought for a moment that you'd forgotten about us. No? How did you go with that ball that you had the other day? You had a good time playing with it, did you? Well, I'm pleased. What did you do with it when you were finished? You forgotten? Mr. Doobie, especially when your message says put things away, you should know what you did with the ball. <laughs> you were tricking, were you? Did you put it in a safe place so you could play with it next time? Did you see Mr. Doobie's special ball? Yeah, and he was reminding girls and boys at home, when we play with our bouncing balls, if you've got a nice soft one like that, you could use it and not break anything in Mummy's house because I know that Mums get cross if you want to bring those big balls inside, doesn't she? Yeah, so watch out. So Mr Doobie thought you might like to use one of these. Where do you keep this when you're not playing with it? You've got a special toy box, have you? Oh, it's just one of those cardboard boxes that you get when, you, when Mummy goes shopping. Well, that's a good idea, Mr. Doobie. It doesn't have to be a really flash box, does it? No. Just somewhere where you can put everything so you know where they are when you want them. Good idea. You want to put it away now? All right. Make sure it's in the right spot. Go on, put it away. Did you get it inside the box? You did. Good boy. <laughs> what are you doing? They wouldn't go in. Oh, I'm pleased now. It's, it's tidy, is it? I hope so, Mr. Doobie, because your board says, put things away. Tell me where you should put your pyjamas. Do you put those in the toy box? No. No, you have to remember to put your, the things in the right place, don't you? Where do you put your toys, then? In the toy box. Yes, and what about your books? Do they go in with the toys? No. No? Where's a good spot for books so that they won't get scribbled on, so that they won't, the pages won't get torn by little brothers and sisters? Got a bookcase? Have you, or a special shelf to put them on? That's right. Now, if you've had a little snack, if you've had your refreshments and you've been watching television, where do you put your cup and your plate? Under the lounge? No. No, you tell me where you should put it. In the kitchen. Take it back to the kitchen, that's right. Somebody might try, uh, stand on it and break it. You don't want that to happen, do you? And, of course, it's a lot less work for Mummy, too, if you put things away and tidy things up for her. So we're going to be doobies, and we're going to remember to put things away. Are you going to sing, Mr Doobie? You want to. You don't want to sing in a loud voice today. Why not? You've been shouting. Why have you been shouting, Mr Doobie? And he said he liked being out in the, in the garden so much that he was calling out, buzzing in a really loud voice, and now he's only got a little soft voice left. But he wants to know how big is your voice today. Is it a big one? Yes. Yes? Will you let him hear it? Ready, please, Mr Music. Try to do what's right and not do anything wrong. I do be all day long. Buzz, buzz. I do be all day long. Put your things away. Mm-hmm. Put that ball back in the right box. Don't put it under the pillow, will you? And put your pyjamas under the pillow. Yes. Hang your towel up. Put it back in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Don't just leave it on the floor in a little wet heap. No, because then Mum has to come and pick it up and wash it again, doesn't she? Hang it up so it can dry and so you can use it next time. <laughs> OK, Mr Doobie, we'll sing to you again, but you try and sing a little louder, will you? You still haven't got your voice back properly? 
All right, I think you need a little uh, drink of lemon. Mm, lemon and honey mixed together should be pretty good. Yes, it'll make your voice feel better. Will you sing even louder for him? Yeah. Okay. And what about if we get Alan and Brendan and Nicholas to say, ready, please, Mr. Music? Let's hear the boys. Ready, ready please, Mr. Music. Thank you. I try to do what's right and not do anything wrong. I do be all day long, buzz, buzz. Mr. Doobie, you might like to just stay there, yes, because there are lots and lots of letters in the box, and I think you'd like to see some of the special drawings too, because I'm sure there are some of you. Hmm? Would you like to stay there just a little bit longer? Okay, I'll read the letters and show you the pictures. Oh, what does this say? It says, these drawings were sent in from the Chandler Kindergarten, how lovely, in Victoria. And the teacher in charge is Libby Chislett. And she sent a little note here saying that all the girls and boys like to watch Romper Room, so they decided to each do a picture. How nice, Mr Doobie. Mm -hmm. You have a special look at these, won't you? Sent in from the Chandler Kindergarten. And perhaps if the kindies are watching now, they might like to do the same thing. This is the one that Gavin sent, Mr Doobie. Let me just make sure that you can all see it. Oh, that's a very flash doobie, isn't it? Look at your stripes, they're gold. Lovely gold paper. And do you see those semicircles there for his wings? And what colour is his face? It's red, isn't it? That one's from Gavin. What does this one say from Laura? A lovely Mr Doobie. He has green stripes this time. Do you like having green stripes? You do? It's a little bit hard to turn these pages over because they're big ones. Melissa says down the bottom, my Mr. Doobie. Yes, you look like a clown there, Mr. Doobie, with all those colours, don't you? It's a beautiful one too. Turn this one over and it comes from... Is it Bianca? No, it's Melissa. Melissa. It's not you this time, Mr. Doobie, it's me. Hmm? You have a look. <laughs> oh, look. I wonder if I'm trying to balance my um, bean bag up on top of my head there. <laughs> Might be. And this is from Jodie. Jodie's four years old. And these are some of her friends in kindy. That's what they look like. And somebody else who's forwarded this one. Perhaps if I take it off, you'll be able to see. That one's from Lara. It's you again, Mr Doobie. And this one's from Amanda. Another picture of Mr Doobie. And you're going to see the Romper Room house as well. Mm -hmm. Now, there are an awful lot of pictures of you, Mr Doobie, so Melissa decided to do something different. Hers is a pattern. See if you can guess what she used to make this pattern too. She's four years old. Anybody know what she used to dip into the paint? Cotton oh, I think it might have been a, a cotton reel, yes. And some blocks, different shaped blocks too. Yeah. Yes. And Glenn did a picture of both you, Mr Doobie, and his happy face as well. Have a look at that one. <laughs> Where's this one from? What does it say at the top? I can't read. I'll put the ones that we've already done down there because they're just a little bit big, aren't they? This one's from Jodie. She's four years old. And that's a picture of you and me together, Mr Doobie. You like that one? Mm-hmm. And this is from Joel. He's at the same kindy too. Mm. Looks as if he's doing some skipping there. Yeah. Yes, or jumping. Annette did the next one. Another beautiful one, Mr. Doobie. And the last one comes from Christine. And that's her happy face. <coughs> so if you're watching at Kindy today, maybe you'd all like to send me in a picture. I think we'd like to see them. There are some others from Friends at Home too. This one comes 
from Amanda, and Daddy did help her just a little bit. The letter says, Dear Miss Selina, Daddy helped me do the drawing, and Mummy's writing this letter. My sister is Kelly, and she goes to school. I go to kindy four days a week, and two of those days I start early, so I have to miss romper room, but I watch you the other three days. Please look for me and write to me very soon. Lots of love from Amanda. Hugs and kisses as well, it says. Dear Miss Helena and Mr Doobie, I watch your show every day and do you know I've been watching it because I've got chicken pox. Sometimes I go outside to play but I've had to stay inside for three weeks with chicken pox and I've sent you a picture of Mr Doobie. Mm -hmm. Who's had chicken pox? You'll know what it's like, won't you? It's not very nice, is it? No. And this says, for Miss Helena, lots of love from Melissa. She's five years old and... She made a picture of a clown. That's very clever, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Melissa also said that Mummy helped her do, do the outline, but she did all the colouring in. We did see some nice pictures today, and thanks for your letters too. If you're going to send me a picture, maybe your kindy are going to get together and send a whole bunch of pictures for Mr Doobie. We'll send it to Miss Helena the Romper Room, Channel 7. Put your stamp in and we'll write back. Did you like that, Mr Doobie? You did. Do you want to join us and do follow the leader? You might. You might stay for a little while. OK, stand up, everybody. We'll get uh, Christy to be our first leader. And she has to think of something to do with our hands and our feet. Maybe your head, maybe your eyes. All right? Come over here. You see if you can join in, Mr Doobie. Alan, you can be next. Come on, Nicholas. Just move down a little bit so we've got some more room. Now, have you decided, Christy? What shall we do? Clap and stamp. Did you hear that, Mr Doobie? Yeah, that doesn't mean to use your head to do the stamping, no, because you're going to hurt yourself, OK? <laughs> Just use your feet to do the stamping. Rightio. Ready, please, Mr Music. Oh, show us what to do, what to do, what to do. We'll follow you wherever you may go. See us do what you do, what you do, what you do. See us follow you wherever you may go. Not too bad. I didn't hear very much stamping from you, though, Mr Doobie. Not much and not much singing, either. Try to join in with us, OK? Now, Christy's been the leader. Let's get Alan to come in front. Come round here behind Christy and Alan. Tell us what to do now, Alan. Skip and clap. OK, we're going to uh, clap in front like that? Or behind our backs? In front. In front, very well. Skip this time, not stamping, but you can clap like you did last time. Ready, please, Mr Music. Oh, show us what to do, what to do, what to do. We'll follow you wherever you may go. See us do what you do, what you do, what you do. See us follow you wherever you may go. All right, Brendan, stop the stop here. Come back here. And everyone can stand behind you this time, OK? Pardon, Mr Dubin? You want to hear everybody sing? OK, I'm sure they know the song by now. Brendan, tell us what to do. Clap and run. Clap our hands or roll our hands? Which one? Hmm? Roll, our roll our hands and our feet. What are they going to do? Run. And running this time. OK, run as fast as you can, roll your hands and sing with me. Ready, please, Mr Music? <laughs> Show us what to do, what to do, what to do. We'll follow you wherever you may go. See us do what you do, what you do, what you do. See us follow you wherever you may go. Another good turn. We'll get Nicholas now to be the leader. Come on, up you come. Have a think, Nicholas, what you'd like us to do. A jumping turn. Good, because we haven't done that for ages. What are our hands going to do? Roll. Roll like that and jump this time. OK, ready, please, Mr Music. Oh, show us what to do, what to do, what to do. We'll follow you wherever you may go. 
See us do what you do, what you do, what you do. See us follow you wherever you may go. Another good turn. Now we'll get Michelle to be the leader. Are you listening carefully to what she's saying? Come up here so that everyone can see you. That's better. And what are we going to do this time? Something that we haven't done with our hands. We haven't done any shaking yet, have we? Shaking and hopping. And hopping, right here. It's a bit hard, isn't it, Mr. Doobie, to hop? <laughs> he says, I think I'll do the singing instead. All right. Ready, please, Mr. Music? Show us what to do, what to do, what to do. We'll follow you wherever you may go. See us do what you do, what you do, what you do. See us follow you wherever you may go. Who's missed out? Who hasn't had a turn? Come on, Leanne. And you've missed out. Oh, never mind, Mr. Doobie. We'll have a turn together in a minute. Snap your fingers and let's go running. Ready, please, Mr. Music. Oh, show us what to do, what to do, what to do. We'll follow you wherever you may go. See us do what you do, what you do, what you do. See us follow you wherever you may go. Another good turn. Well, what would you like to do, Mr. Doobie, for your special turn? Something where you can join in. Well, I know you're good at nodding your head. Do you want to nod or do you want to shake? Nodding turn, okay. And marching with our feet. All right. Can you nod your head and march? <coughs> no. Let's try that. Ready, please, Mr. Music. Oh, show us what to do, what to do, what to do. We'll follow you wherever you may go. See us do what you do, what you do, what you do. See us follow you wherever you may go. You feel a bit giddy now. Does your head feel funny, does it? I know what you can do then. You can go and have a little rest and have some honey. OK? Say goodbye. Bye. See you, Mr Doobie. Bye. <laughs> Are you thirsty? Would you like some refreshments too? Yeah. Yes, come on. I'd better just take all these paintings and put them somewhere else. Thank you. you were over this side, weren't you, Brendan? them along, can't you? Give. Pass them down to the boys. It's always nice to serve your friends first, isn't it? That's the way. And of course we're going to say that special thank you. For our family, our friends and food, we say thank you. finish then take your time just because the music finishes doesn't mean to say you have to be finished by then because it's not good to rush your drinks is it thank you Nicholas come and bring yours up Alan that's the boy do you sometimes when you drink too fast it hurts here hmm? got to be careful haven't you Good boy. 
or while we're waiting for Brendan to finish, we might put the tray away and we'll go and get our special things that you're going to show me for show and tell. Mm -hmm. We're going to be back to play more games too, show and tell, and we're going to make something as well. Hey, great teeth and gums, you got quite a smile. What's your dental health secret, crocodile? Thorough brushing and flossing every day. A good fluoride toothpaste. That's the only way. I visit my dentist regularly and I watch what I eat. No little snackies. Remember, brush well with fluoride. Visit you know who. <laughs> and watch what you eat. Cause really good teeth depend on you. Did you ever see a lassie go this way and that? Christy's in the middle, so she's the lassie. You have to choose something that we can do, like um, washing our hair, cleaning our teeth, washing our face, having our breakfast, any of those things, and we're going to copy what you do, Christy, all right? Let's go. Ready, please, Mr Music. Did you ever see a lassie, a lassie, a lassie? Did you ever see a lassie go this way and that? Go this way and that way, go this way and that way. Did you ever see a lassie go this way and that? What were you eating, Christy? Tea. Tea? Were you having a drink of tea? Mm hmm I, w I had a little bit of egg too. Did you have some egg, Michelle? What were you eating? Hmm? Was it nice? Mama good cook, you had some lunch, did you? All right, well, maybe we're going to clean our teeth this time. Maybe we're going to sweep the floor. Whatever you decide, Nicholas, all right? We'll copy you. Ready, please, Mr. Music? Did you ever see a lassie, a lassie, a lassie? Did you ever see a lassie go this way and that? Go this way and that way, go this way and that way. Did you ever see a lassie go this way and that? Don't forget about those back teeth, will you? The front ones up, the, up and down and round and round and round at the back. That's right, do it properly. All of them, don't miss any. Up and down, that's the way. Would you like to go in the middle, Alan? Come on. Think of something to do now, all right? So you're ready as soon as we say go this way and that. It can be anything. It can be jumping. It can be running in a circle. Whatever you like, all right? Your turn. Ready, please, Mr Music. Did you ever see a laddie, a laddie, a laddie? Did you ever see a laddie go this way and that? Go this way and that way. Go this way and that way. Did you ever see a lady go this way and that? That's the way. Now we'll see what Brendan wants to do. In the circle you go. Do you want me to do your zipper up? That's better, isn't it? Ready, please, Mr Music. Did you ever see a lady, a lady, a lady? Did you ever see a lady? Go this way and that. Come on, turn in a circle. This way and that way. Go this way and that way. Did you ever see a laddie? Go this way and that. Who else would like to be in the middle? All right, Michelle. Turn around so they can see you at home, because I want you to join in as well. That's the way. And what must be say first? Ready, please, Mr. Music. Did you ever see a lassie, a lassie, a lassie? Did you ever see a lassie go this way and that? Go this way and that way, go this way and that way. Did you ever see a lassie go this way and that? Good girl. Who else would like to go in the middle? Would you like a turn, Leanne? Okay. This will be our last one, and then we'll do Luby Lou. That's one of your favourites, isn't it? Off we go. Ready, please, Mr. Music. Did you ever see a lassie, a lassie, a lassie? Did you ever see a lassie go this way and that? What's she going to do? This way and that way, go this way and that way. Did you ever see a lassie go this way and that? Good turn. Now, you know your right foot, do you? Yeah. Put your right foot in. Mm, other one, Brendan. 
Other one. That's your right foot, OK? And your hand, right hand's on the same side. So now we know what to do, don't we? Come on, join us. Ready, please, Mr Music? Here we... Here we go, Looby-Loo. Here we go, Looby-Light. Here we go, Looby-Loo. All on a Saturday night. Right hand. I put my right hand in. I put my right hand out. I give my hand a shake, shake, shake and turn myself about. Here we go, Looby-Loo. Here we go, Looby-Light. Here we go, Looby-Loo. All on a Saturday night. I put my left hand in. I put my left hand out. I give my hand a shake, shake, shake and turn myself about. Here we go, Looby-Loo. Here we go, Looby-Light. Here we go, Looby-Loo. All on a Saturday night. I put my right foot in. I put my right foot out. I give my foot a shake, shake, shake and turn myself about. Here we go, Looby-Loo. Here we go, Looby-Light. Here we go, Looby-Loo. All on a Saturday night. I put my left foot in. I put my left foot out. I give my foot a shake, shake, shake and turn myself about. Here we go, Looby-Loo. Here we go, Looby-Light. Here we go, Looby-Loo. All on a Saturday night. I put my head right in. I put my head right out. I give my head a shake, shake, shake and turn myself about. Here we go, Looby-Loo. Here we go, Looby-Light. Here we go, Looby-Loo. All of a Saturday night, I put my whole self in. I put my whole self out. I give myself a shake, shake, shake and turn myself about. Here we go, Looby-Loo. Here we go, Looby-Light. Here we go, Looby-Loo. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a bit tired after all that, are you? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Let's sit down and see. Oh, we're going to see a daffodil today, and we're going to see a teddy bear and a doll. Would you like to see them too? Yes. Okay. You bring yours up first, Nicholas. You got everything ready? Bring them up here. Tell us about Teddy first. To jump up. And have you had Teddy since you were very tiny, have you? Hmm? Yes. Beautiful, isn't he? Is he nice and cuddly? Give him a cuddle now. Does he cuddle you at night sometimes? Does Teddy get a little bit uh, um, lonely in the night time? He doesn't fall out of bed, does he? No, he keeps you nice and warm. That's good. Do you call him Teddy or do you call him something else? Teddy. Just Teddy. Where were these kangaroos? Hmm? Kingfisher bird. Very nice. You're feeding them. What do they like to eat? I don't know. Huh? Those are breadcrumbs, I wonder. They're very tame kangaroos. Look, this one's coming right up to Nicholas there. Oh, Nicholas, did you have a ride on the pony as well? Yes. Yeah. That's a lovely photo. Where were you here? Court Macquarie. Court Macquarie for a holiday. Up at the Great Barrier Reef. Look, who went there? Grandma. Yes. If you are lucky enough to go there, you might see some tropical fish like that one. And Daydream Island. Goodness me, you can go out on the boats and swim in a pool like that. Magnetic Island. I've been to Magnetic Island a long time ago. See some lovely coral there. And I hope I wouldn't find a fish like that. Look at it. <laughs> And that lady's got a special diving equipment on to see the beautiful things in the Barrier Reef. But you went to Port Macquarie for your holiday. And what did you do at Port Macquarie? Was it warm enough to go swimming? Yes. And did you do some fishing too? Yes. And where'd you sleep at night? Did you have a caravan or did you stay in a house or with some friends? In a house. Yeah? You did. You had a special cottage, did you? A holiday cottage. Yes. Oh, you're a lucky boy. Mm -hmm. Michelle, let's see this daffodil. It must be the tallest one I've ever seen. Did you grow it at school, did you? Mm -hmm. I wonder what you fed it to make it grow so tall like that. Water. Mm, just water, yeah. And did it have a nice sunny spot too, did it? A 
under a berry tree at preschool. Oh, I see. Were there, uh, were there lots and lots of daffodils growing there for all the other children grew one too? Mm, 21, I think. 21 of them. Were they all as big as yours? So I've got another one too that's mm. only about that little. Yes, because usually, you know, they only grow to about that height there. So yours mm. is extra tall, isn't it? Mm. Must have liked that little spot and must have liked you feeding it, I think. Mm. Tell me about this. When did you wear it? When I go to ballet. You still wear it, don't you? And what sort of shoes do you wear when you go to ballet? Ballet shoes. Yeah. What colour are they? White. Mm -hmm. You must look gorgeous. You going to have a concert this year? The end of the year? Probably will. Now, who are these two fine people? Nicholas and me. <laughs> Which one's you? That one. Yeah. And that's Nicholas. Have yeah. a look. Yeah, they are. Mm. That's when you were both six months old, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. That's at Nana's house. And this says, in hospital. Oh, that was the first day you were born, was it? Mm -hmm. When they were just one day old. And there's Dad with you. Gorgeous. Hey. They're lovely photos. Hey. You must be very proud of that daffodil, I think, Michelle. Put it over here so that you don't have to carry it back. But don't forget it, will you? Your turn, Leanne. Uh, Christy. I keep calling you Leanne, don't I? Well done, Christy, for being such a sensible girl and working so well. Were you star of the week, were you? Do these babies like the bottom? No. no. This big bubby. Oh, yes, yeah, she's a thirsty girl, isn't she? <laughs> that's, that's, that's sisters. And what are you doing there? You're hiding inside the cupboard, are you? Yes. <laughs> what are your sister's names, Christy? The one at the top is called Erwin and Becky. And Becky's down the bottom. There they are. And that, that's Bubby's hat. Was that for the Easter hat parade, yeah. was it? Your bonnet's on? Yes. And here you are at school. Which one's you? Yes, in the front with the great big smile. All the girls and boys are smiling. What's that say? Some big black bats. They're hard to draw, too. You've done a good job. Who's that? A clown. A clown. Excellent work. What's this say? Mrs Ninnis is crying because she has spiky hair. <laughs> <laughs> is she your teacher? No, she's, um... Was she really crying because she had spiky hair? Oh, I wish I could have spiky hair. What does that one say? I know. Hmm? I know. Well, tell me about it. What have you drawn? A farm. A farm, is it? These are Maori hmm. people from New Zealand. From New Zealand, that's right. They've got their poi poi balls too. That's what yeah. they are there. They do a nice dance with those. I didn't bring them. Baby. You know, usually have a little baby at the back. I know. Who's been to New Zealand? My nana. Mm -hmm. And I made that at preschool. That's a nice idea. You made the frame and then put a photo of you in it for mum. Yeah. At preschool. That's nice. Then not leave any of these behind. Then I've got baby. Put those down there. And this. She really is a beautiful baby, isn't she? He's yeah. got a nappy on mm -hmm. And a little singlet too. And yep. plastic pants, just like a real one. Oh. And a bib. Is it a messy baby? Is it? No. <laughs> but my real baby feeds her. Oh. Is you? <laughs> <laughs> I bet that's a messy thing, is it? <laughs> yes. Now, come on, let's have a look and see what Leanne's got in the fold. <laughs> Thank you. 
We'll start off with the certificate, it says, for excellent work with her reading. Kindergarten R. Good girl. Is this your teacher there? Yes, it's mm -hmm. Mrs. Roots. And the teacher's Mrs. Roots. It's a nice class photo, isn't it? And then my jazz ballet picture. Jazz ballet, hey? That was my, my first, um, first classical picture. Next, next the jazz day. babies, I love those ringlets. <laughs> next picture of me, my sister. What's her name? Hayley. Mm -hmm. And well, that's a picture of it. my nanny sits in my swing, and it's half of Harold's swing, and that's Ben, yeah. our dog, and that's Bo, and that's Teddy. Aren't they beautiful dogs? Look at them. And their next door neighbour's really naughty. Well, they certainly are lovely photos, Leanne. I like that certificate too. Now, we're going to see the tadpoles, aren't we, Brendan? Bring them up. And bring your paintings too. That's the boy. They really are very fat tadpoles. They're making their water very muddy. It's a bit hard to see them. I'm trying to see whether they have any little legs yet. Come on, up a little bit higher. Can you see that very fat one at the front? Yes. Yeah. What happens to their tail when they start to grow the legs, do you know? They go away. Hmm. It disappears and they get four legs instead. Do you have to feed them anything? Or do they find something in the water for themselves? They eat mm -hmm. that little brown stuff. Yes. They eat that. They also like a little bit of fish food too, if you've got yeah. them at home. Brendan did a nice painting of a shark. Look at it. That's a beauty. And is it night time here in that picture? See all the stars up at the top? That's another nice one. And where's Brendan? See if I can find you. There, you're holding the sign, aren't you? It's Brendan with his teacher. And who are the two girls? Are they your sisters? Are they Brendan? Yeah. yeah. They go to the same school as you? They look after you? That's good. Now, tell me about your book. You're interested in sharks, I can tell. He's got a book here all about them. Mm, what sort of a shark is that one? Hammerhead. Hammerhead, look at it. It's a very strange looking one. Which is your favourite one? That one. Oh, what does it say about that one? What's he called? He's the great white pointer, isn't he? Great big mouth, oh dear. Ferocious looking thing. You take your taddies and I'll put the pictures down. Come on now, Alan, I want to see what you've been growing. Got two gardeners today. One grows flowers and the other one's growing some carrots, I think. Mm. Now, you tell everyone how you got the tops to grow like that, Alan. We cut off the end of some carrots mm -hmm. and we put them in some corn buds with water. Yes. And then they grow. And then out that comes. So if you've got, mm. if, you, if Mum's having carrots for tea tonight, ask her if you can just have the end part. You can't, don't usually eat that. And just pop it in some cotton wool mm. and give it water. You've certainly made it look nice too. Yes. There's Rainbow a puppy dog and a rainbow. And, a and these are the clouds? Yep. Yeah. A lovely little garden. Mm. Now we better just see what's in here. says, Mr. Doobie and Miss Helena at Romperan. I like the way you've done Mr. Doobie's hive down there. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be a very, very big painting? I might have to stand up to show it, I think. Yeah. Oh, there are helicopters and planes and all sorts of things. Wow, that's really beautiful, Alan. That's a beautiful picture. Is there one more in here? I think there might be. Now, what have we got? 
Those are some of his other special paintings that he did at Kindy. I like the frog. You'd like that one, wouldn't you? <laughs> An elephant. Beautiful nose he's got. And what's the last one? A giraffe. We didn't miss any, did we, Alan? Let's see. I think there's something else in here, and I'm not quite sure what it is. Melbourne. Melbourne. So you did go on the trams. Yeah. Look, yeah. Very nice. Well, we did see some unusual and different things today, and I like it when you bring your special things home from, in from home, especially when you've been gardening like that and growing daffodils. You're very clever. Now, I want to see if you can make a picture with me over at the table. We, because it's springtime, I thought we might do a blossom tree. Come over and I'll show you how to do it. And you can take this one back to your teacher or back to Mummy and show her. Who's good at twisting the paper? Think you can? I've cut the paper the right size for you. All you have to do is twist it and then paste it onto the tree in front of you. I did the trunk and we have to put the bottom part down there. See that there? Makes it look as if it's in a nice pot. So first of all, I'll show you how to twist the paper. If you're going to make one at home, you'll need some crepe paper because it's easy to twist and it doesn't break. And just make a little rectangle like that. Not too thick, otherwise the blossoms are too big. And just turn it in the middle like that. That's easy, isn't it? Hmm? So you need to do lots and lots of little twists. So take some of the pink paper and start twisting and then you can do some pasting. This is good too to exercise your fingers so that you're a good writer and so that you can hold your pencil properly. Have you noticed the blossom trees in the garden? Yes, and maybe if you, when you were driving to Romper Room today, you saw some. I've seen some very dark pink ones and some white ones and some pale pink too. And if you like, you can turn that over and, and make tiny ones like that. First of all, I think I might put... Is that going to come out? Yeah. I might put the pot on first. You paste yours on too. And then on one of the branches, put a little bit of paste and then put your blossoms on. Do one branch at a time so you don't get any paste on your sleeves. If you want to, you can pull those sleeves up a little bit so that you don't get any on your clothes. If you're using cellophane paper, you'll probably find that when you twist it, it'll tear a little bit. That's why we've used the crepe paper today. But if you've got any pink party paper, some wrapping paper will do just as good. sort of trees get blossoms like this? Sometimes they're peach trees, sometimes they're plum trees, sometimes they're apple trees. The plum trees usually have dark pink blossoms yeah. and the peach have pink or white. Oops, fill this one up now. a couple of times so it stays in a nice bow shape. Looks good. If you like, you can put some of the blossoms down on the ground because they do fall off in the strong August winds, don't they? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
we don't finish today, you can take some special, some of that paper home and finish it off at home. And don't forget, when you go back to kinder, you're back to school, you tell your teacher about the lovely paintings that we saw today from the friends in Victoria. And perhaps your class would like to send me some paintings of Mr Doobie, or anything you like. And making sure that you twist that paper a couple of times, turn it over, get those fingers to work. Good boy. How's yours going? You all right, are you, Brenda? Nicholas? How are you going, Alan? Good. Good. Take a little while to finish, so while you are finishing, I might just go and say my magic words and have a good look at you. Rumpa bumper stomp a boo. Tell me, tell me, tell me, do. Magic mirror, tell me today. Have all my friends had fun at play? Let me have a good look at you. Do you know I can see Haley today, and I can see Karen and Kim and Megan, and Daniel's there too, so it's Tristan and James and Juliet. There's Andrew, there's Katie, there's Joanne. Corey, can you see me? I can see you and I can see Damien today. I can see Rebecca and Erin and David. There's Leah as well, and there's Gregory and Ben and Mark and Trent. Dean's there too, so is Christopher. Hello, Adam, hello, Timothy, Caroline, Alicia. Paddy's there too, and I can see Guy, I can see Nadia, and I can see you. I'll look for you next time in the Romper Room School. The Romper Room is presented by Channel 7 in association with Fremantle International each Monday to Friday. Tune in again at 9 o'clock tomorrow.